Clown students. The doubts you gave to me in our minds, I'm taking them. I'll be taking five doubts in this lecture and accordingly uh, five in the next lecture and so on. Total doubts which you have given me are 18. Uh, that is one eight. Let us see question one, which you have given me. Um, here we go. Dithyl oxalate is used for distinguishing between primary, secondary and tertiary. Students, the answer over here is amines. We just see the equation dithyl oxalate. You know oxalic acid is COO and H will come here. COO and an H will come here. Now it is dithyl oxalate. So H will be replaced by the ethyl group and that makes it dithyl oxalate. So this is dithyl oxalate plus say I treat it with a amine RNH2. You all know that's a primary amine. When we do this, we get a solid and formation of solid indicates that it's a primary amine and the product formed is like this. This is a substituted oxamide. It is a substituted that is alkyl oxamide. When I say substituted, I mean alkyl group is there. It is a substituted Oxa might, which is a solid. Whereas when I take dithyl oxalate and I treat it with a secondary amine, that is, you all know what is the structure of secondary amine? It's R. 2NH, this is 2 degree, and then I'll be getting same CONHR and a CONHR plus two C2H5. OH. This will be this, see this, 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 this. This will be 2R. First I wrote same thing, huh? NHR. And I'm telling you, see, you know this is R to N. So that part will be N R and N R. Meaning it will be N N dialkyl. N N dialkyl. oxamide and then dialkyl oxamide which is a liquid so formation of liquid indicates that it is a secondary amine and the best part this dithyl oxalate i'm taking writing in a deo when treated with tertiary amine Oh my God, this is the best reaction. Then <laughs> there is no reaction. So in the in the in the uh, this particular concept, what I understand is whenever I take dithyl oxalate and I put it in a three degree amine, I don't see any change. When I put it in a two degree amine, I see a liquid. Some liquid is formed. And when I put it in a primary amine, then it is giving me a solid. So solid precipitate indicates that the substance is primary amine. Liquid indicates it is a secondary amine. And no change indicates it is a tertiary amine. 
let us go to the next question. Question number two, which is asking us to find a chiral amino acid among the following. Let us make their structures. I'm making A. Only when we make structures, we'll come to know about the achiral center. So a chiral means not chiral, that is not symmetric. First one I'm making two ethyl amine. Two ethyl amine. Two ethyl amine. Now if I take two ethyl amine, this is not an amino acid only. So why I should make it? It is not an amino acid. They are asking only an amino acid. Okay, I make B. Two methyl glycine. Glycine, two methyl glycine. Correct, this will be 2-methylglycine. So, this is having a chiral carbon. Carbon attached to all four different atoms or groups. Let's make C, 2-hydroxymethylserine. 2-hydroxymethylserine will be, do you remember? It is NH2, COH. CH2OH and hydroxymethyl. So CH2. Agar ye three lete to methyl hota, two leke ek OH dal diya. So two hydroxymethyl serine. Now see this group and this group is same symmetrical. So this is a chiral. And the last is tryptophan. Let us see what is tryptophan. I hope you remember. We have done it in alpha amino acids in the topic biomolecules. This is what we get. This is the aromatic behavior. Here a CH2, a C, NH2, and a COOH and H. So you can see this is also having a chiral center. So this is also chiral molecule. So the answer is, correct? We go to the next one, next question. Best method, best method to form a aromatic iodide. I think you should know this yard. This too we have also done in halogen derivatives of alkanes. We have done it in halogen derivatives of alkanes as well. Very, very simple. Answer is this. This will give you AR I plus N2 ARI plus N2 will be evolved. I don't know why you don't remember because see, I'm just I'm just uh, uh, focusing on Sandomir's reaction. If you remember, in Sandomir's reaction, we take a diazonium salt, benzene diazonium chloride, say, and we treat it with cuprous chloride, and we get aryl halide, aryl chloride. We can also get aryl bromide here. We can prepare aryl chloride or we can prepare aryl bromide here. Now, if you remember Gatamans reaction, then in Gatamans reaction, we took same benzene diazonium chloride and we treated with copper powder in HCl and we get chlorobenzene. Here we can get aryl chloride as well as we can get aryl bromide, but we can't get aryl iodide. So aryl iodide was obtained by treating the benzene diazonium salt with Ki. Keep it in your mind. It is obtained by treating it with Ki. Let us see the next question, Bachapati. 
looks difficult, but it's not. I give you some time to, you know, look at the reaction. I'll give you some time to look at the reaction. Okay. Now, now let us think what can happen. This is Grignard reagent. Mg is electropositive and methyl is electronegative. So here cyanide mid, this is electropositive and this is electronegative. So the negative methyl group can attack this carbon, which is electropositive. And electropositive magnesium can attack nitrogen. Let us see what do we get. Now we have C, double bond, N, Mg, Br, and a chatri here. This is what is formed in step one. Now they have given H3O plus. So this reacts with H3O plus and it breaks here. This is how water reacts. See, I'm writing something very interesting. This is how it reacts, H2O, uh, uh, HOH. This O is not here, H2O. O will go to the other side. That is, it'll go here. So look carefully, what do you get? You'll be getting this benzene ring and a CCH3 and over here a double bond O. And we get, see this is gone, this is NH3 and we get MgOHBr. I hope this is clear, this much is clear. That's P. So can you see that here? Yes, of course. This is the structure. Now I'm just writing the remaining uh, OCH3 here, uh, OCH3 here. That is this part. As such, ethers don't react with Grignard's reagent. So this is the molecule, which is P. So P is Bombay. This is the answer, B. Go to the next question. That, let us see, in, in this video, I'm discussing five questions. So this is the fifth one we are discussing now. Of course, now this, some, this is a concept to be known to you. You should know it, you should learn it basically. If I do electrolytic reduction of nitrobenzene in a weakly acidic medium, once again, I'm repeating, if I do electrolytic reduction of nitrobenzene in a weak acidic medium, then children, I'll be getting very simple lab. Electrolytic reduction of nitrobenzene in a weakly acidic medium. People can give me the answer if they know. Aisa nahi ki sare answer teacher nahi bolne hai. <laughs> okay, I give you a hint. Same thing happens when nitro alkanes are treated with ammonium chloride. Ab to hai jana chahiye. Say I take. This hint was more than enough. It's treated in weakly acidic medium, electrolytic reduction. in a weak acidic medium. So we'll get NH OH which will Again, rearrange to give me, rearrange to give me para hydroxy aniline. 
we'll be getting para hydroxy aniline this will be the product form we can see the detail of it in the mechanism when i i'll discuss the mechanism with you although we don't have mechanism in our syllabus to you know answer directly but i'll tell you its mechanism so nitrobenzene is give, giving me para hydroxy aniline now that's all in this video for the doubts of our minds i've discussed five questions in the next video immediately which will be coming after it i'll be putting another five questions please keep on sending me the doubts go on solving the doubts very soon uh, there will be je uh, exam which will be the third turn and again there is neat there is ct manipal ek do din pehle hi hua hai keep on studying children don't worry about lockdown don't get stressed out what will happen there's that nothing our coaching is going on your studies are going on you just go on doing your part of work aap apne revision karte rahiye exam bhi ho jayega result bhi aa jayega admission bhi aapko achhi jagah mil jayega but kya nahi hona hai himmat nahi haarna hai okay bye bye to all of you and wish you very good luck